why the trucks are moving slow right now because everybody wants to look at her. She's down on the left-hand side underneath her oh, mom. Oh, there she is! Hi! Hi there, gorgeous. Good morning! Hello. Now <laughs> we're in Disney! We are. We made it to the hotel last night. Don't look at the room, it's an absolute disaster. Um, I'll put in the footage that we took last night when we came into the room because it looked a lot nicer. Um, when we got here, um, we were asked if we wanted to join the Marriott Bonvoy Club and we said, okay, we'll do that. And got a free upgrade. As a result, we've got two balconies. Two balconies. Yeah, I'm going to put in the footage that we did last night. Um, but now it is twenty past seven. We're going straight for the bus. And we're going straight for the bus for Animal Kingdom. Should we turn off the lights? The only the issue in here is there's no like big light. Um, my UK friends will know what I mean. Um, everything is just lamps, so there's no like master switch to turn them off as you go out. You've got the rain max. No. Um, so yeah, we just have to go around and turn off all the lamps. Where's that light? What about the bathroom light? The bathroom light's on the inside of the bathroom. Oh, that's a new one. They're not usually there, are they? Right, shall we go and get a bus? Even this yet, we got an upgrade for free. <laughs> we just got a free upgrade. I'm going to bring the big bag with me. Do you have to put, the, do I have to put the thing in? A key. By the sounds of it, the no, because on. the lights on. That lights on. Oh. oh my gosh. I don't see anything. I don't see a light switch either. Oh, Where's all the light switches? We're, we're going to come back to this. Hold on. Hold, hold on. We've now found a light switch. So here is our free upgraded room. We've got a king size bed, a mahusive television, a lovely little window here. A door to a balcony, um, yeah, that apparently is ours. Beauty, right? Which is I think he means resort as in the doing. resort, not like, let me, let me go outside onto our balcony. Wow, look. Good evening, Disney. This is so good. He's opened the door. Why? What's out here? Huh. Oh my god, it's like a corner balcony. Can we get back in if it's shut? I don't I don't like the idea of letting this close. Well, I want to come. I want to come out onto this. So we've got two balconies. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, ouch. There's the bridge that oh look, there's the boardwalk. Oh my gosh. That's Go get a bus. Have you got the room keys? I have a room key. I don't know where the other one is. That's fine, I've got one. Okay. This one. Let's go. You didn't just see the Easter Bunny? I swear I just saw the Easter Bunny. I mean, you might. Mm -hmm. Let's get down the elevators. Go away with you See, I knew I'd seen the Easter Bunny. I told you, I knew I wasn't imagining it. So, we're out, ready for, uh, let's get the bus. Where did we get the bus? I think it's here. I think this is the turning circle. The red structure is here. Yes. Um, normally there's screens that tell you where, how far away the bus is. Yeah, so, so hopefully. We'll see. There's like a half, what time is it now? I'm hoping for like a half past It past. is um, 7.30. Oh, it is 7.30 right now. Pretty much. We're a bit slower than I had anticipated we would be. because I got distracted by the Easter Bunny. We've been up for two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Cafe. 
always quiet. Yeah. We made it to Animal Kingdom. Still can actually, can't we? Let's go. I am so excited. Um, let's see if this works from last time. Yes. Yes. And we're in. Welcome to Animal Kingdom. I was so excited. There are creatures over here. This lady has got creatures. Shall we look? Let's look. Yeah, they were spiders. That was a no. That was a that was a hard hard no. Oh, this guy's got something. Is it going to be another spider? Yes, it looks like it. Yes, house yes, spider. Yes, house spider. Yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to bring all the names. Definitely not. Where is it? <laughs> this is a southern house spider. So if you guys look down here, kind of by the web, oh, I see. You can him. see my southern house spider hanging out there. He's hanging out behind the web. He can stay there. He can stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, do you want to sign up to be a wilderness explorer? We could do that. No, I'm good. Oh no, it's so much fun. Let's do it. No. She is gorgeous. I like these shops. You bought your Lion King spirit jersey from in there. Then there's the shops on this side as well. Riverside Depot, Trading Company. So that's Island Mercantile, that side. Oh yeah, Starbucks is over there. But we are headed this way. Oh look, there's one of the, the 50 statues are still out, but they don't have the 50 badge anymore. And I we, think, judging by those people stood there, I think uh, they still make noises. Um, it's tough to be a bug because they're closing I it. I can't do it. They're closing it. I know, but I don't like it. Bubbles, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we also need to go and explore the Tree of Life garden because... Yeah, we always do that one. We you? never do. You just see all the intricate... No, uh, and the more you look, the more you see. Yeah. So this is, this is the Starbucks. So you were, Sorry, so we weren't right. We were... No, I think there's more than that. Is it? Top tip with this one is that there are two entrances to Starbucks. This one gets queued up really quickly, um, but this side does not. Um, you probably can. Because then you can just order and go in. Oh, the monkey's out. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. They're not out. They're sleeping. Probably about to feed them breakfast. Probably. Pizza. Starbucks. That might be a good idea for. Terra Trees opens at 10 30. We're coming into Africa. This is like a proper whistle stomp, like. And this is a good spot to watch the cavalcade. Do they still happen? They were good. I really enjoyed them. Down the river, finally making use of the waterways. I can hear the drummers. Oh my goodness. No. Okay, we're not doing that. It's because they've not opened the queue system. So are we go commit. Let's commit. Okay. Get it done. Let's commit. Oh, I'm not even in focus. Hello. Hello. There we go. Oh, that is that is good. We are starting the queue by Lion the Lion King. King. This is amazing. I think it's, they haven't opened the queue system yet, they cannot have done. Well surely, with this many people you open it. Well I, I can't know. wait for my first Mickey sandwich ice cream and also my first Mickey bar. Ooh, are you excited about that? Oh my goodness, yeah. What by Lion King? Oh my gosh, thank you. I am coming back here. Mimosa. So we joined that queue back there by the Lion King. We are already by <laughs> Mombasa Marketplace. Um, we joined the queue at what? What did I say? Seven, eight, eight, tw eight, twenty-one. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. It is now eight twenty-eight, and we are by oh, no, look, there it is. the marketplace. Okay. I'll log out. I found it. Okay. Jack's sending me photographs. Um, Yes, we are almost there at the, at the entrance to the queue to join the queue. So, not as horrendous as we thought it was going to be. Um, let's 
let's go. Here we are, so it's exactly half past eight, you can't really see, and we are about to walk inside. At least the start, you like, there's what, five buses? Yeah. As soon as the like, it's bus, 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 bus. Let's see how long it takes us. And the vet's here. And welcome to the for the birds. Crowned cranes. There you go. Keep your room together. Keep up with the party in front of you. I feel like we didn't even come through this way because we had we went straight to the outside overflow, didn't we? I think so. If you are traveling with a stroller, please have children and animals unloaded before you reach our stroller park. Oh, we must have come through this. If you are traveling with someone, because we are headed for the outside overflow. Oh, I missed it. There's a trail. I literally cannot believe we started this line at Lion King and at, at 20, a quarter to we're at the loading dock. Americans never turn right. Here we go. They're always wrong. <laughs> we're in the zone. In the zone. Here we go. Karen Booty, row, welcome aboard. Row, Friends row, slide row. all the way across that row for me, making room for all of our friends behind us. <laughs> Put your hands on our feet, legs, those doors, we close it up for you. The quarter two. With a private row. Hello. I see birds. And Okapi. Now, right away on your right hand side, you are going to see the Okapi over there. And to our left hand side, these birds walking around, these are the saddle built stork pair. I say pair because where you see one, you're normally going to see two, and that's because they do mate for life. Oh, that's They have a saddle bunch structure across their feet and an impressive wingspan. It reaches anywhere from six to nine feet, and that's the same distance as that canopy above your head from left to right. They have long tongues that are used to reach their food up high. It is a really shy animal, so we're only going to see them in groups of one or two, and never really in large parties. Now, you're seeing the good side of a black rhino here on the left-hand side. The rear. <laughs> It's a really good sign. And his friend is going to be over here standing loud and proud on our left hand side, munching away this morning. Now that black rhino you're seeing can weigh in anywhere from three to five thousand pounds. But even with his incredible size, he is still quite agile because he can run up to 25 miles an hour. Way. And that nice big horn that he has on his head, made out of the same materials or fingernails. But don't let that fool you either, friends. It is still quite sharp. Peaceful journey through the forest here, my favorite animals coming up next. Right there on your right hand side, you're going to see an orange animal, and that is the bongo. Now the bongo, also known as the ghosts of the forest, they have those antlers on their head that face backwards in a twisted position. This allows for them to cut through the bush and trees at quick paces so that they can hide from their predators. Oh. And when they lay together in a group like this under the water, they are also known as a bloat. So that is a bloat of Nile hippos we're seeing there. And while they are under the water keeping their body temps nice and cool, they can hold their breath for about 8 minutes. Oh, there comes one. Hello. Whenever they run out of air, they do exactly what our friend is doing here. They're going to come up to the surface, grab a quick breath, and go back under. Bye. They can hold their breath, like I said, for 8 minutes. So they'll do that in their process on repeat throughout the day. And they won't do that without looking up. Pauls, we are quickly approaching Croc Bridge. And they are on the left-hand side. There they are. The Nile Crocodile. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about this important tree that's coming up here on your right-hand side. That is a baobab tree you're seeing there. As you notice, it doesn't have any leaves. It won't have leaves for about nine months out of the year, and it's going to do this because it needs to store all over the water in that thick trunk or bark to sustain its life. Now, sometimes during the dry season, animals want to tap into this tree for its water. It's going to allow them to do so, giving that tree the unofficial name as the Tree of Life. I see wildebeest. I see giraffe. First things I'm noticing once we enter the savannah, on our right-hand side, you are going to see the herd of wildebeest over there making their way. Also, some Maasai giraffe. Now, the wildebeest herd you're seeing over there, it can reach anywhere up to about a million at a time. So they are going to separate to find the food and water that they want. But Akuna Matata, that means no worries, they'll find their way back to their friends because they have a special scent on their hooks. Giraffe is getting sad. Look at him using his neck. He's using that nice long tongue and that skull, just like the Okapi is going to do out in the forest, and that's how we know that they are related. They are called Messiah Giraffe because they got that messy pattern going on there. It doesn't mean that he's a messy animal. He's actually one of the cleanest out here in Africa. He's a more of a messy coat. At least we see you have a clean cut style. These guys prefer the messy side. 
Now they're sitting here, some of you might be able to see them. They're on the left hand side, they're way over there by their den. There are African painted dogs over there. Oh, I see them on the ground. They have that nice brown coloring with spots on them. No two coats of these dogs are be exactly the same, and that's how they're able to identify each other from far away. Think of it like their name. And whenever they communicate, they don't bark like traditional dogs. They actually make more of a squeaking sound like a squeaky toy. Closer now. There they are, the African painted dogs. There's a few more of them back there behind their den as well. Oh yeah, resting. Now the big cattle we're seeing here, these are the Angoli cattle. And those horns that they have on their head, think of like a built-in AC unit. They're gonna have a honeycomb-like structure inside that they can pump their blood through. That they allows them to alleviate the heat from their bodies and it keeps them nice and cool. Oh, that was it over also there gives them their own personalities one. because no two sets of horns are going to grow the same way. Based around the nerves. And the wildebeest like are grouping up right now. Like I said, they give up that special scent on their hoofs. They're going to smell the way back to their friends that were hiding out in those bushes over there. And once the entire group is together, they will move together as a unit. Yes. I appreciate you all's patience. Hi there. Always sniffing. And on the right side, there is an African elephant. Hi. Yeah. And also on your left hand side, the Alpha Mandrel is out. And oh my he's goodness. Very prominent right now. Oh, hey. He does not come out very often, so that's a special thing for you all. I've never seen the mandrels out no, here. He is an Alpha male because he's got that nice, beautiful color on his face and backside. That's going to show that he's in nice charge. And he will find himself a female oh and they will make for life as well. He is the biggest of the monkey species, weighing in about 100 pounds. I just want to see the baby. And that mandrel is the same species of animal as Rafiki from The Lion King. Now that male you're seeing there on the right hand side of that elephant, that is a boy because he's out here on his own like this. Oftentimes when elephants are born, the boys go off on their own while the females stay together in these little groupings. And he is a herbivore, meaning he's eating things like plants and trees, about 150 to 300 pounds of food a day. I can see the baby. I can see the baby. I can see the baby. This is probably why our sister trucks are also slowing down a little bit, because there is probably a sight of the little ones out here. Like I said, they soften themselves mama. on that clay because it keeps them nice and soft. They're not scratching each other as much. They're just actually get longer and longer every day of their lives to the day that they do pass. So if you want to know how old an elephant is, although we can never get an exact number of their age, you can tell who's older than the rest based upon their tusks, unless one of them has broken off. So this is one of the older males you're seeing here, and that's a great example of when their tusks do break. This is why the trucks are moving slow right now, because everybody wants to look at her. She's there on the left-hand side underneath her mom. Gorgeous. Now what you're seeing there is a baby elephant. And that one is roughly about three months old. She stands at about your hip and she weighs about a hundred or she weighs about three hundred pounds right now. Her mama was pregnant for about twenty-two months, and when she gave birth, her baby was 175 pounds. Oh my goodness. And there there's are. the baby. Now think of her like a very big toddler because that's exactly what she is. She's only been in reserve for a few weeks now, so she's still learning everything. She's hanging out with the females, oh, she's so she running. understands the principle. Hey! Oh, she's gonna get a little drink. Figuring out how that trunk works. Oh my god! Now, Safari's spotting guys have become the yeah, cheapest to reside on the left hand side. And the oh, female yeah, the ostriches are here, here as here. well. Uh, no, now the female ostrich you're happen. seeing. They have hey. those nice gray colors to their feathers. The boys will be closer to a black color. They are the fastest land animal on two legs. They can go anywhere from zero to 35. And everyone thinks that they stick their head in the ground when they feel threatened, but in fact, they stick it up against the ground as flat as they can get it. That's gonna allow them to hear what's around them so that they can go ahead and run away at a moment's notice. They have a superpower of sorts. They're gonna collect the sunlight throughout the day and they're gonna radiate it, making it the perfect spot to large cast to lay down because they wanna maintain their body temperatures. They will be. Oh, there it is. I have found the culprits of our stop earlier. The crash of white rhinos is over on the right hand side. And laying down on your left hand side is the male lion and lioness. Hey there. So you guys can take your pick at what you'd like to look at here. And there's the rhinos that were causing the gaps. <laughs> Now, the lions you see on the left-hand side, they will rest anywhere from 17 to 20 hours a day. They're going to do this because they got to maintain their stamina. The boys need the stamina stamina to protect everybody, and the females are going to get together in little groups and do the most of the hunting. Now, I've been teaching you all Swahili terms this morning. Remember, Karen Booney means welcome. Twin day means let's go. The Swahili word for lion is, in fact, Simba. Simba. 
burrows, war homes to the warthogs. And warthogs have two sets of tusks, their upper and lower. Hey. Upper tusks are a little bit bigger and they're used for doing things like digging and building burrows. And their lower ones are there for their protection. When a warthog is ready for bed, oh, it's going to back itself into a burrow like back into a parking spot. Meaning oh, it's tusks exposed so that it can protect itself at a moment's notice. Food. Mr. Ryan. Not a crash of white randos are here on the right hand side. We can take them for the long stop earlier. Like I said, they have that nice flat mouth that they're showing off. And that is going to give us the difference between them and the black rhino. Other than that, they are quite the same. Now, this is where our warden is posted up. And it looks like he's accidentally caught himself some friends. These are Nigerian dwarf goats he's raising out here. Look at the babies. And in return for his protection, they're going to pay him with their form of sweet milk. It's more of a delicacy out here. He does make wonderful goat cheese as well. And that yellow structure he's working on in front of his house there, that is one of those beehives I was talking about. This is conscious too. It's nice enough to loan us once. We can show it off to you guys and educate you about the Elephant and Bee Project. Hi, goaties. Amazing. Um... I always say this, whenever I get off Kilimanjaro Safari, I'm like, that's the best one we've ever done. But that one was awesome. We got, we were on there for 30 minutes. We got stuck behind some... The monkeys. We got stuck, but I just jumped over him. <laughs> we got stuck behind some um, white rhino. Or were they black rhinos? I forgot. Uh, white rhinos. There's monkeys up here. They were white rhinos, the ones that This were is, the um, we had some interesting footage from these guys last time, didn't we? Yeah. Here they are. Yeah, potentially. It's just all hey. the recommendations and what they're seeing with the genetics. So cute. Look at the burbs. Well, let's look around the reptiles first. Oh, these are reptiles first. Who's in there? No, I didn't. Spiny mouse. Spiny mouse? Where? Oh, there. Oh, they're tiny. Oh my goodness, they are, I can't point on my camera, they are here, they're so little. Naked mole rats, they're all in there. Oh, I don't think that's a baby, I think that's just a naked mole rat. Ugh, they're gross. <laughs> There's one in here, look. Two in there. Are they blind? Oh my goodness, how is there so many? <laughs> I thought it was a baby, but no, you know, it was just small. Like that day, it is just small. Well, toy there, toys. There's toy toys bottom. This is snack. Look, it ends there and it starts there. Oh, he looks very stubby. He is very stubby. He's a sand boa, Kenyan sand boa, an African bullfrog. That could be a rock. It could be a rock. It could be a rock. It could be a frog. Oh, he's here, look. Yeah. There. That's the one oh, yeah. that... So one too. An emperor scorpion. Yeah, right. Ooh. Hello. A python. He's under the rock. He's under the rock. Oh, I see. Can you see that side? <coughs> you can't see his head, but yeah, you can see how thick he is. Oh, yeah. This is a better view of him. He's like wrist. He's, he's chilling. He's like wrist sized. He's huge. It's like a double door, isn't it, when it's a bird? There they are! Oh, they're so cute! Flying around. Oh, he's got a larger camera than mine. <laughs> these are blue! Grandad, what fish are these? No, I don't think he has. <laughs> but this is, the, this is the star of the show. Look at these dudes! Hey! Oh, hi! Oh, oh there's those little yellow ones that are buzzing around at like 500 miles an hour. He's hiding! Come back! Where'd he go? There! They're like whizzing around so fast. Oh! Yeah. Hey! Hey! Oh, these are their nests. Oh, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? 
I need to know which what these ones are. Look at him sitting in his little nest. Oh my goodness. Hi! So these are all their nests up here, all these little bits. So many! <laughs> are, they, are they on there? Are yeah, these? Golden Weaver. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Hip oh, my goodness. He's napping. There's a breath. Oh, it's in their eyes. Back down. Oh, back down. <laughs> Do you know? She was so like me. Three in the back, and I think she's. I kind of wake up to breathe when you're asleep. <laughs> Yeah, this is rough. Oh, there's the Market. So cute. There's the zebra. It's like, I've got my hay basket over here. I'm not bothered. Did the baby meet cats. And they're so cute. I like to so there's three zebra in here. They're digging. Hey! He was digging on Dick's face. Oh, he's still Oh, there's the zebras on the move. Gotta go tell you all Oh, he's doing a poop. Excellent. Moving on. <laughs> No, I just saw him pounding on his chest. That is the cutest. Play with the ball. So cute. And that one has gone back to doing that bonkers roly poly. Here she comes! Oh, there she goes. This guy looks like the guy in charge. Is this the guy yeah, in charge? That's the papa, that's the father. Everyone else is a female. They're all like a family troop of gorillas. Oh. What's his name? Gino. Gino. Like De Campo. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's his girlfriend. New face. 43! Wow. And learned it's about 33 years for males, their life expectancy. Oh, well done. Uh oh. Uh -oh.